It is really hot out there, and the animals at the Beardsley Zoo are toughing it out. News 8 Stephanie Simone reports from Bridgeport, where zoo officials are telling us they are helping those animals beat the heat. So another thing I like to tell everyone is they can't see very well above the water. At least so they can, can take well a dip. Others are on a sweltering stroll through the Beardsley Zoo. And we love the zoo. We sure do. And you love each other, right? That's Absolutely. Right. Happy anniversary, <laughs> Happy anniversary. Babe. The Johnsons can't think of anything more perfect for their 15th anniversary with their children. I like going to all the an animals and looking at them. Isaiah loved the otters, watching Nessie seek relief munching down on a shrimp popsicle. So Nessie's really excited about that. Which is, the zookeepers even put the medicine here for Chester in some non-fat frozen yogurt. It appears a cup full of ice cream does help the medicine go down. This year has been abnormally hot. He says some animals say the more sun, the better, like the prairie dogs and alligators. But the Amur tires have fur coats meant for the Russian-China border. We couldn't find the leopard. She was hiding in air conditioning. They're giving them plenty of water, shade, and letting them be lazy. There'll be no uh, medical procedures, no moving, nothing that we'd normally do sometimes when it's cooler weather. Uh, so we really just really leave them alone. He says they know when they're overheating and know how to adapt. He's worried about the animals outside the fence, the visitors, and his staff. I have to tell them, you know, to slow down. I have to tell them, make sure you sit down for a little bit. Make sure you get water. Some good advice for all of us out here in the wild. In Bridgeport, Stephanie Simone, News 8.